Hey everybody, I've been doing subathons for a good gosh, almost, I want, I want to say eight, nine months now. I've been, I would say I'm getting closer to a year and I get every single time every month that I do these, uh, a lot of questions. So I thought I would record a video explaining what a subathon is and what I uh, am doing over on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash trixler. Ah. Uh, and, you know, kind of give you guys clarity and some transparency on what a subathon is and what my goals are and what we do every single month at the beginning of the month. First things first, what is a subathon? A subathon started, gosh, two or three years ago. Twitch started going down a route where things became a little bit more uh, event-based, right? Um, it started being less about dropping your Twitch primes and subbing to streams uh, and more of like, oh, what's a big event for us to get excited about? And so that started to become more of a traditional thing that more streamers were doing is they were just running big two to three weeks at a time. They would just run subathons without a cutoff. And as long as the timer was going, they would just stream until they die. I'm getting too old for that. So we've made a bit of a rendition or changes to it to where I'm willing to stream seven days a week um, because I do, of course, have uh, a lot of real life obligations nowadays. Um, I, you know, I got a little family starting to grow and whatnot. Um, I am also just getting old in general and can't last that long. I'll be honest, my endurance is in the caboots, but I still love gaming. I love being a degen. And so we've done something that's a little bit different with our subathons. One, to make sure that, A, I can go into DJ mode, because I really, really do appreciate it. It's, you know, those real life pesky things of, you know, paying bills, staying in the gym, being active, making sure relationships, uh, being friends, all that real stuff I'm still able to do on the outside when I'm not going into DJ mode. Uh, I'm still able to do, but also be true to myself and still be a gamer on the side. It's all about balance, right? The other part of it, too, as well, is monetization. Uh, one of the things that Subathon really does for me is it kind of just sets up the entire month for me to do whatever I want variety-wise. As you guys can tell on my YouTube channel here, on my Twitch stream as well, I play a lot of different games, and sometimes I go through different mood swings with different games. Sometimes I'll be super heavy on MOBA, sometimes I'll be heavy on single player games, but the idea of variety is there. I will always be there 200 hours a month streaming video games. And if you enjoy that, if you love that, that's what these subathons are for. That's the time to come in and, you know, drop your Twitch primes. If you have extra cash, drop some subs or tips, or of course an SDS, which is a Sugar Daddy Sunday, which has been a thing that you can request a game to be played on stream and I'll check it out for two to three hours and see if I like it. And maybe in the future I'll beat it. Uh, or of course you can force me to beat the entire game as we have seen in the past where people will literally SDS the same game until I beat it. <laughs> These options are all available, and it's all part of, one, me getting paid, and two, stops me from asking for tips and donations every day on my stream, which I really, really hate doing. I, I mockingly say Twitch Prime occasionally here and there, uh, but I really hate saying, hey guys, if you love the stream, don't forget to sub. Hey guys, don't forget Twitch Primes. Hey guys, tip jars over there. Hey guys, donations over there. I really, really hate that feeling uh, overall. And then one more thing about my subathons is that they help me out with the latest programs that have been adjusted on Twitch where we're getting a little bit more ad revenue heavy compared to most. So I have to run a certain amount of hours to hit certain amounts of cash incentives from Twitch. And so that really helps me do that by having a full week of streaming. Because in the middle of the night, most streamers will do subathons where they put a camera right on their bed and they just sleep the entire time. And you can watch them. And it's not creepy at all. It's totally a cool thing. Ugh! I hate that so much. I tried it for the first couple of subathons to sleep on stream, and I found out that apparently I have sleep anxiety. Like, if I know someone is watching me, I freak out and I can't sleep. So I wound up depriving myself of sleep because I'm afraid of, like, getting naked or, I don't know, just exposing myself. <laughs> Weird shit that could happen on overnight streams. So what I do now is I run a full broadcast of games that we have beaten in the past on the overnight. So that allows me to run ad revenue and also gives people uh, an ability to watch an entire playthrough of a game that I may have played in the past that they have missed. This gives me a lot of flexibility in my subathons and also gives me a chance to show off, one, how much we've grown, because if you've seen some of our old VODs, we have been <laughs> really, really bad streamers. Uh, and then two, kind of just gives you an idea of all the games that we've beaten, all the genres that we've touched, and show that, you know, I'm kind of an expert in the gaming sphere. So it's all about a celebration and setting up the stream to succeed. So that's why I do subathons every single month. And you attending or being there is very, very helpful. And I just want you to know, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, every single moment that anyone spends on my stream is, uh, I don't want to say a blessing, right? I don't want to like... I don't want to. Say, I don't want to sound uh, too 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 positive, but it, but it really it, it is a blessing. Like it's, it, I really do appreciate that people spend some of their days, maybe all their day, over on my stream, hanging out, and it's cool that it's a place for you guys to be. So, anyways, I wanted to just explain subathons a little bit, give you guys a little bit more information about why I do them. 
um, and what the goals are for them. Uh, one last question that I usually get a lot to during some thons is like, hey, what if I don't have the means to do an Amazon Prime? I don't have the means to do a donation or anything. That's fine. Come to the stream. Just know that there are going to be ads there, and it's totally okay with me if you run ad block and whatnot, because I still have to hit my incentives for Twitch, but I will still get my paydays by having people there just in the channel. That's the entire point of it, right? To make sure that I can keep doing what I do on a daily basis. I am working on my YouTube and trying to grow it up, but right now it's not in a spot where it helps me out too much when it comes to monetization. Uh, but if you ever have the chance to stop by and just hang out, I would appreciate that. Cool? All right. Enjoy it. I'll see you for next month's subathon.